Good morning. Why, after Jesus feeds the 5,000, does the Bible include a story of Jesus feeding 4,000? Let's take a look. We're looking at Mark chapter 8, verses 1 to 10. In those days, the multitude being very great and having nothing to eat, Jesus called his disciples to him and said to them, I have compassion on the multitude because they have now continued with me three days and have nothing to eat. And if I send them away hungry to their own houses, they will faint on the way, for some of them have come from afar. Then his disciples answered him, How can one satisfy these people with bread here in the wilderness? He asked them, How many loaves do you have? And they said, Seven. So he commanded the multitude to sit down on the ground, and he took the seven loaves and gave thanks, broke them and gave them to his disciples, and set them before them. And they set them before the multitude. They also had a few small fish, and having blessed them, set them before them also. So they ate and were filled, and they took up seven large baskets of leftover fragments. Now those who had eaten were about four thousand, and he sent them away. Immediately got into the boat with his disciples, and came to the region of Dalmanutha. So here's our story. And our question, why is there a feeding of the 5,000? Why is there a feeding of the 4,000? Some of the higher scholars have said, well, it's just the same story. It's just been uh, blurred all around there in the, in the giving of the tradition. I don't think so. I don't think so. Now, if you remember the feeding, we already went over that, I believe, the feeding of the 5,000 plus uh, others. So it was probably closer to ten or 12,000 people. When Jesus fed them, what was the difference between them and this? Well... Here what we have is Jesus waits three days. Jesus waits three days. The people have been with him for three days, and they're hungry. And why didn't the disciples go to Jesus? You'd think that, that they would have thought, well, Jesus just fed 5,000 not too long ago. Why don't we just go and have him do it again? But the disciples are kind of slow in slow motion about that, and so Jesus waits. He waits day one. He waits day two. He waits day three. And finally on day three, Jesus broaches the question, he says, I have compassion on the multitude because they've been with me for three days and they have nothing to eat. And Jesus is kind of like going, come on, guys. <laughs> We've been over this. You saw it happen before. What's the next question? You know, ask me. Go ahead. Come to me. Bring me your need. Ask me. And they're just kind of slow on the uptake here. And I think that's one of the things that's going on here. It's not because they had leftovers, because if you go down further in the chapter, you find that, that there were 12 baskets of leftovers after he fed the 5,000. And so here there's seven baskets left over. So that's not the issue. But I think what's going on here is Jesus is trying to build their faith. It is a very small faith, as Jesus said, and he wants to increase it. And so finally, he, when everybody's getting pretty hungry, Jesus, Jesus kind of prods them forward, and we get the feeding again. So let's not be short about, uh, let's not be in slow motion about bringing our needs to Jesus. He wants us, and we just, we're just very slow to ask him to help us. We seem like we want to do it ourselves and just kind of come grudgingly to him. But no, we should go to Jesus first for his help. Why not? Let's pray about it. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for your goodness to us. Help us to be faster to come to Jesus. Help us to be faster to bring our needs to you. Um, I don't know why it is, but we're kind of stubborn. We kind of want to do it ourselves. So Lord, help us to break through and go up to a higher level of faith. Higher ground, Lord, if you will. Please do that for us, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. So there we have it, the 5,000, and here the 4,000. Will you join me today in making a commitment to make Jesus your first resort? Not your last resort, your first resort? And there's no better way to start your day than that way. God be with you.